happy slide day. It's a Thursday. I got notified. I got to go pick up some baby chickens. Man, that's one thing 2020's done is it has turned us into a family that wants to be more sustainable. So I built a chicken coop and raised up some chickens, went through the death of a rooster and a hen, learned about the raccoons. Raccoons are, oh my goodness, I'm going to try to get them suckers this weekend. Anyway, did the best garden I've ever done in my entire life. Um, took some big steps uh, in my career. I actually decided to step down from my, my teaching job to be able to school my own kids because I had a heart doctor tell me that I needed to avoid crowds for four months. Well, that's kind of hard to do when you teach. And then who was going to school my kids? Well, am I going to send my kids into a crowd and then bring them home to me? I had, you know, two crowd contacts every night. I didn't think that was a very wise decision. So I talked to my wife about it and we're going to do what we got to do. I, I just had a lot of uncertainty. This, this, this year is crazy. And then the election is coming up. I don't know what's going to happen. I've heard rumors that something major could happen like September, October, which I wouldn't put anything past the powers that be at this point after the things that we've seen pulled this year. came out this last week, only 6% of all the people who died from COVID actually died from just COVID, okay? The other people have pre-existing health conditions. What do you expect? You go putting a bunch of people that have COVID into nursing homes. It's going to kill older people. And if you look at that, if you if you try to look deeper into uh, how COVID has affected uh, older people, especially if you want to look at it from a spiritual war standpoint, then you got to recognize that a lot of older people are, are more committed to God and they're more advanced in their their prayer life. They're physically not as uh, equipped as they used to be. But spiritually, in spiritual warfare, they're going to fight and they're going to pray. And, and the Bible says that the prayers of a righteous person availeth much. And where more than one is, is in, uh, gathered in my name, I'm in their midst. Okay, so if you, got, if you can keep older people from coming together and praying together, then that, I mean, that's, that's physical, spiritual warfare all, all put together in it and, and if you believe in a, in a bigger plan beyond just what we see in the physical realm in the in the five senses and and you see how all that stuff plays out and, and and has a role then that can't be overlooked by people and i'm not saying that i think that covid was even going to be a thing that was serious for me but if it was serious enough that school was in the situation that it, it is in where, especially in the bigger schools, they got people wearing masks and you got all these social distancing requirements and everybody's just in this hoopla and hysteria, then I have to take it serious when the doctor tells me that I need to avoid crowds for four months. And it's kind of hard to do that. And I, I was trying teaching virtually, but it is very difficult to keep a classroom of special education high school kids uh, a lot of them have issues with like ADHD and stuff. It's hard to keep them locked in when they're seated and I'm virtual. And then, yeah, there's another teacher that's in there, but she's just in there kind of as an overviewer. So ultimately, it, it is what it is. You, you got to make choices in life. Life is full of tough decisions. And I had a few not so good decisions that were before me. And my wife and I talked about it. We prayed about it. And ultimately... We just felt like this was the best decision for us to make it. I just want to keep my kids safe. Uh, I don't know what's coming down the pipe towards uh, towards the election, but I heard last fall that uh, China and Google were working on something that was Manhattan Project level. Hey, folks, the world's due for something wild and crazy like that, really. I mean, who's to say that they can't... Uh, look, look, some of these cell phones have, have just spontaneously bursted into flames and people caught on fire. What would happen if with these 5G towers, if somebody sent a signal to the 5G towers and every single device in, in the United States just went boom? Little bomb. It ain't even gotta be big. Just boom up into a flame. Can you imagine all the people in traffic, their phone just boom into a flame and they're in a panic. You got Then you have chaos on the streets, every house boom, every laptop, every phone, every TV just went boom. 
Like, think about that. And that is not out of the realm of possibility. Some people would label me as a crazy conspiracy theorist, but I tell you what, I don't look so crazy this year. I got people texting me. I got people calling me. Hey, what do you think about this? Hey, what do you think about that? And it's it's kind of rewarding in a sense, but honestly, I just wish I would have I would have taken it more seriously at other points in time and that I would have pressed harder. But man, I've just been living life. And and part of my living life is, yeah, I've dug. I've wanted to know why the world is the way that it is. And I've done a lot of research over the last 13 years. Uh, I have above average intelligence. and uh, I do a pretty good job of putting pieces together. And I don't put it all together on my own. There's people that came well before me that are way more uh, advanced in their knowledge of, of what's happening. And I've learned to trust, trust my sources. Uh, and, and some people would scoff at at the, the sources that I have, but hey, they are what they are. There's a reason why my life looks a lot differently than other people's. There's a reason why I'm in the physical condition that I'm in. If one of it is that I take supplements from InfoWars store. Like Alex Jones, he's, he's, he's a mess sometimes, but he ain't lying to you, okay? And his supplements, they don't have their ratings that they have for pretend. I take the nascent iodine, the bodies, the, um, the brain force. What else do I take? The, um, the, the krill oil. My kids take the honor roll stuff. Like they've got some really, really fantastic stuff. Cause that's how they float their whole media empire. And I tell you right now, if it wasn't for infowars.com, then Donald Trump would not be the president of the United States. They've exposed so much corruption in the last 20 years. Uh, honestly, uh, if if Trump wins and if America can right the ship, Alex Jones should go down as a modern day Paul Revere. The dude is a national treasure. But people will say, "Oh, I'm, yeah, that dude's crazy." You're crazy, Kelly. You're crazy. No, it is what it is, man. I just put the I put the pieces of the puzzle together and try to make sense of it, and I try not to speak in absolutes. I try to look and see, hey, things could go this way, things could go that way. I don't know what's going to happen. Trump could win this election, and we could come together as as a body of believers, and the energy of our unity in Christ, and and we could, the Democratic Party could just go away, and then compromises could be made between Republicans and Libertarians, and that would be so much better for our society, where you've got compromises being made between maximum personal freedom and then just conservative values and everybody comes together and we write the ship and we could go into a new era of just amazing achievement a, a new golden age uh, in in America that's that's one possibility another possibility well let me let me say that on that last possibility for that to actually happen justice will have to be served to those who have sought to undermine what America is all about, okay? And and most of you will know who I'm talking about and what that means. Another thing is the Democrats could cheat because, look, nobody in their right mind is going to vote for Joe Biden. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but somebody's got to say it. If you would vote for Joe Biden, then you have issues. I mean, really, you either know that... The Democratic Party has been hijacked and represents a group of globalists who want a global socialist state, and that's what you want. You want an end to America as it is, which is just ignorant in its own right. Like You wouldn't have the life that you have, even if your life's not the greatest. Even the, some of the poorest people in the United States have a better life than people in other places on the earth. Or you're just ignorant, and you don't understand how you're being used because you don't see the bigger picture and you think that the Democrats really are for the little guy and that they're looking out for the people who can't look out for themselves except for those little babies that are getting aborted at a rate of about 3500 a day. Okay, A lot of blood on those hands. And then the Democrats talking about wanting to take people's guns because they care about the kids but not the little babies. right? And I understand the Republicans have got problems too. Okay, There's a huge war lobby. And then you got the people that lobby for um, 
the food companies and uh, the pharmaceutical companies that, hey, they just want to turn a profit and they value profit over people. That, that, that's your Republican Party for you. But the Republican Party, the platform, and, and the people who support the Republican Party, they're a lot closer to the foundation of reality that God has provided us than the Democrats. I mean, you got to get real. The Democrats are talking about multiple genders and transgender is a is a thing. And I had uh, uh, an administrator at a public school tell me that uh, if a person identifies as a furry, it's a real thing, and they're they're to be honored with dignity and respect. And they're delu- and not in their delusions. I added that part. Okay, that's that's the Democratic Party. That's the the policies. The Democratic Party also supported by Black Lives Matter, who really don't give a damn about Black Lives. They're lying to you. Look who leads it. They're admitted trained Marxist revolutionaries. They're just using that sentiment to get money and look the NBA tried to stand behind Black Lives Matter, MLB, NFL and look at the viewership. People don't support it and what I see them doing out of that is the media is going to report those numbers and make that out to be that yep, look, America is racist because 70 some percent of the United States is white people and then when the professional sports leagues comes out in support of Black Lives Matter, then the fact that white people wouldn't support that, that just means that America is racist. No, it just means that most people are wise to the bull crap and they're not going to put up with it and they're not going to support it because it's not based in reality. Okay, They're not really there to help with black lives. Like, how come Black Lives Matter hasn't, been, hasn't reported anything about the black police officer that was shot and killed in St. Louis by a white dude just this last weekend? Not, not, a, not a word on, on national media about it. That, that black officer, his life mattered, okay? But again, it doesn't fit the narrative, okay? So there's just a lot of confusion and delusion and, and people just really are, are a mess, okay, in the Democratic Party. And so the Democratic Party, if, if they win, they're coming to get the guns because they've been exposed. They've been exposed in a way they've never been exposed before. They've been exposed all the way, all right. And so, if they win, what they what what I see happening is the the gun situation. We end up with with chaos, or people just roll over and let them have them. But there's going to be people that resist, and ultimately, that's going to end up with uh, United Nations troops on U.S. soil. And I don't think that actually enough people support the Democratic Party for them to be able to just outright do that. They're going to have to lie and steal it and pretend like they have a bunch of support. I would honestly be surprised if more than 30% of the U.S. population actually supports the Democratic Party. It's just a huge mind trick that they're running because the Democratic Party is controlled by the same people who control the media. And I ask people all the time, who pays the media? Okay, It's the advertisers. Who, who are the advertisers? There are these huge, major, multinational corporations that are controlled by their majority shareholders. The same people that, I mean, they are the elite of the elite that control these major companies. They own the pieces of the company. They have enough pool to be able to to control the market, even companies that they don't directly control because they have such a large share, whatever rate that they sell it for is what everybody else pretty much has to sell a product for, okay? So Trump wins, justice is served, move on to a new golden era, and we can't just sit back on our laurels if Trump wins. Like, we really have to aggressively go out and 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 advance the cause of Christ and 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 we have to push that in our culture not by force by appeal with truth and love that's the only way is appealing with truth and love that's it and then so democrats win they would have to cheat trump would contest could be chaos and who knows what that looks like honestly what i was saying earlier about how the 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 phones and the tv just send a signal and boom pop blow it up that that could cause chaos who knows, man? I mean, they talk about something Manhattan Project level. Maybe it's a big nuclear bomb and it just, boom, wipes us all out. And we ain't even here, us Americans, for the end of days. We already had our opportunity to be able to go out and tell the world about Jesus. I don't know how it's going to shake down. But just try to prepare for as many uh, as, as many things as, as we can um, and, and be prayerful and, and, and stay in tune. Stay Stay knowledgeable. Sometimes you got to withdraw. You got to go escape reality. I get that. But but stay in the game. Fight for it. Tell people the truth. 
encourage people to seek Jesus because it's it's the energy of his spirit that's going to lead humanity to a better place. That's the foundation of reality, and everybody needs to be tethered to it if we're going to go in a positive direction together. God bless you.